Hey there, builders! This is Dauntless Sam, and welcome back to Bridge Project, where we build, test, and more than likely destroy our bridges. So we're going to continue on on the rule maps, starting on level 7. We've got another drawbridge to make here. And I immediately start out in a bad way and don't even click on a node. Start with a nice road bed here. Hmm. Don't know how this is gonna work, but trying it anyway. And... Add some pistons here to make the drawbridge. And I believe I'll have to add a little bit something else here in the middle. just to keep the bridge's shape as the drawbridge is drawn. Open that joint up and test the bridge. Not promising. We already broke these in the back. I don't know why just those broke, but okay. Hmm. Well, the drawbridge will... Uh, the drawbridge part works, which is a start. Get into this action camera here. You know, honestly, I think that bridge is high enough to get that boat under there without the drawbridge. But, play it as it is. And then we just have one test left after this one, if the bridge doesn't break. I always hate it in these bridge building games where they practically drop the bridge into place. So you break quite a bit more stuff just whenever you're setting the test up than whenever you run things over it. But the bridge survived, so we're going to move on. Oh, uh, we've got a big train to go over this one. So let's see, what have we got? We've got wood, iron, and steel. So it's just a regular bridge. We'll start with a wooden roadbed here. Hmm. The... Whoops. I wanted the select mode. Which does not seem to be working for me. Huh. Weird glitchy things of this game. We'll just do it the old way. There we go, joint delete. Hmm, actually here the support might be nice from that first anchor point down here. So we'll keep it simple for now. and do that. So we'll start out with some steel. How long can these steel bars be? Eh, we're gonna go with that. We'll just see if that holds up the inner part of the bridge. It's a little too much weight there. I wasn't expecting that to work. Actually, yes, probably the crossbars here for the... Does that hold up? It does stand up on its own. Though I don't like the look of that roadbed.
Yeah, I have a feeling that the train won't make it across on this bridge. So far, so good. Now for the heavy one. I think that said 500 tons, or 300 tons. My guess, 300 tons. Oh, and immediately falling through. I may have to make the roadbed iron. Always fun to try and get this to... to select properly. There's my iron roadbed. I don't want to rebuild the entire bridge, though it might be simpler that way. We're going to do that. It'll be easier. So, rebuild the roadbed. Nice and quick. Put these first iron struts here. Then make my steel braces. And then continue on with this cross brace here. And that might be a little bit better. Let's test it and find out. It seems a little bit more solid. So the stress on these bars are not going away. And I'm wondering why that is. Why it's more stressed on this side than the right side. So I've got four broken joints. This roadbed is not doing so hot. Continuing on. Haven't lost any braces. But now for the real test. Here we go. Didn't immediately fall through. Oh? Uh, well, that worked a lot better than I expected. We only broke a few more joints. And first time we've done that map anyway. Next roll map. This one looks like it's going to be... Oh, there's an earthquake in this one. Hmm, let's make our roadbed here first. We get a lot of steel for this one. Hmm, I'm not sure where the boat goes through on this one. So you get steel cables and... So I'm making a sub suspension drawbridge, it seems. A little bit of steel here, a little bit of steel here. Hmm... I think I can get rid of this joint and make it one piece. And then hopefully these pistons will draw that far. Oh, that does work that long. Open that joint and see what happens. I may need to give it a little more bracing here, but... Hmm. There's no train involved. That 
That boat seems a little wider than normal. Though it's the exact same boat. Strange. Well, let's just hope the drawbridge closes properly. Survives the cars. And can survive this earthquake. Hope those cars don't go too quickly. Oh, that's not good. Well, that's a failed test. <laughs> oh. And gone. So, uneven drawbridge does not work out so well for it. Hmm. That open joint thing. We'll just delete it. Because <laughs> for some reason it was wanting to keep it. Uh, I can just make it even. I don't know why I didn't do that before. I like to stay on the strong lines on the grid. I don't know why, but that's just a habit. So, some pistons. Make it an open joint. And we'll test it one more time. And see how it goes whenever it's even. Have the simulation speed all the way up. We've broken a few more joints this time around. But the bridge does seem to be opening a little bit better. And here we go with the boat coming through. Nice. We only broke four more joints. Drawing the bridge up. Now let's see if this bridge will drop back down and actually close this time. Because the cars are pretty easy to get across the bridge. Here we go. Looks good. Still looking good. That's clear, now let's see if we can survive three earthquakes. We have, oh, we broke one more joint. Oh, we survived. Not very climactic, or anticlimactic in the way. Because I have the camera shake turned off. It's quite annoying whenever your bridge breaks. And it just... The camera shakes so much and nothing happens. Rule map number 10. Here we go. We've got some more trains to go across with it, but they give us quite a bit of steel. wondering if I should do a steel road bed or not. How much steel do I use just to do that? Not too terribly much. But I think I want to have that so I have more places to connect. Make it a half length road bed instead of the full length. Put steel there. Put some steel here. We'll switch back to iron. Oh, they're wanting a, a suspension bridge. Well, I can see they have the anchor points down there. So never mind on the iron there. I want steel. Add some cable. And then a little bit more to flesh this out. Hmm. We'll see how that holds, but I don't think that's going to work for the train. Oh, yeah. For some reason. Let's see that again. In slow motion. The whole dropping the bridge down on them. I don't know why it does that, but... Hmm, I've only got 16 meters of cable left. And how about that? Nope, does not look good. I don't know why it drops down so hard on itself like that. Well, I can do this. The steel gives me a little more length than I was expecting. 
Hmm. Well, it survived. I don't see the bus that's making it across this. <laughs> nope, not even close. Hmm. And I wonder why it actually has the cross braces here. Usually it automatically gets rid of those. So the bridge, or the, uh, the buses just run, ram right into these cross braces. It's not on this side, but on this side. <laughs> Strange. I guess I'm going to have to redo this one. Delete that joint. There we go. And test it. Did a little bit better on that. I think we're going to add some iron here. The uh, cables aren't doing much for it. Buses are doing much better this time. The stress decided not to render for a minute there. So let's see how this goes. Cars, easy. Not a problem at all. Now for the hard part, the train. 200 tons of train. And it'll probably immediately collapse the bridge. Oh, oh, it's doing pretty well. Wow, that's surprising. Survived the third test. Good deal. New record for that map. And I think that's all we have time for today. If you liked the video, please do like the video. If you think you'd like to see more stuff like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you think anyone else would like this, don't be afraid to share it. This is Dauntless Sam. Thanks for watching.